Today we're talking two stroke racing oils. Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today we're going to run you through the different types of oils and different types of oil ratios, how to mix them the easy way. Now you can mix your fuel into a jerry can straight up, which they call pre-mixed. I don't like to do that myself. I like to measure out how much fuel I want in a jug similar to this. And it's got graduations on the side. So a jug like this with individual liters marked on it. Uh, so if you need three liters of fuel, obviously fill it up to the three liter mark. And using a beaker like this with graduations on it here in milliliters, you can select the amount of mils times liters and uh, some simple mathematics and you're good to go. Okay, so failing that, you can use your beaker and measure out um, 500 mils 250 milliliters in this one, or in use two, if you're using a, like a 50 to one mix in a 10 liter jerry can. And then you can just pour the two things of oil straight into the jerry can, mix it up, and then you've got pre-mixed fuel for the whole day. The only problem with that is if you don't use it this week and it sits around for a bit, it won't be fresh fuel. Now if you go to a race meeting and they've got control fuel, that's gonna be a problem because you have to dump the old stuff out or gra grab another jerry can. And you can use the old fuel in your racing lawnmower, racing whipper snipper, and all your other racing home products through the garden. But try to use the freshest fuel you can if you're racing. If you're just going for a practice, it's probably okay. Uh, from a lubrication point of view, the oil doesn't go off, but some of the sort of uh, volatile chemicals in the, in the fuel can evaporate away and you can lose some of your performance. But it's, it's hard to measure, so just to put your best foot forward on race day, always get the freshest premium fuel that you can. And if it's a control fuel, make sure you go to the control service station, to the control bowels and get the right petrol. And keep the receipt, because if you ever have a problem with the tech inspectors at your race meeting, well, you've got the proof there to back up your cause with your petrol. Okay, first up, we're gonna talk about Rotax oil. Now, this is the oil I use and recommend. It's Rock Oil Max Synthesis Fully Synthetic Oil. Now, you can use any synthetic oils, now the reason why I like to use the synthetic oil is it just, I just find that it makes the jetting way easier. I've had problems before with castor oils in the Rotax engines, having to get them above a certain degree water temperature to get them to really crack on in, in the top RPM. So just to avoid that problem, I use a synthetic oil and it goes away. Now I'm not saying that works all the time, every time. It has worked before for me and that's why I recommend it. Now with this, this particular oil, I use 25 mils per litre. You can run it as lean as 20 mils per litre, that's recommended from the Rotax people, uh, and that's 50 to 1 in uh, our oil ratio, so 50 parts of fuel to 1 part of oil. And that's a pretty lean mixture for a racing two-stroke engine. Now at 2%, you won't have any issues with the engine blowing up. I just like to add a little bit of extra oil for a, a margin of safety, because sometimes you can leave a little bit of oil left in your beaker when you're mixing up the fuel and oil. So a little bit extra won't hurt the motor. Now when you're running in your Rotax engine, they recommend 33 mils per litre, 30% uh, oil ratio. So add a little bit extra oil if you're running in your Rotax Max racing engine. This is the fully synthetic oil that the Rotax XPS, the Rotax group recommend for their engines. It's a great oil. It's equally as good, I believe, is the rock oil and also to the fully synthetic Motul Grog Re 2T. This is a bit of an all rounder, but it's suited for your Rotax as well. If you're liking these videos, please consider subscribing and turning on the notifications. And thanks to everyone that's subscribed already. We recently hit 3,000 subs and we're super stoked for everyone that's clicked their subscribe button. So thank you very much. Next up, we're going to talk about the Vortex Mini Rock. This is the oil I recommend for the Vortex. Mini Rock Racing Engine. Now the reason is, is the Maxima 927 castor oil is a very clean burning oil. Now it is a castor oil and it works fine over the 14,000, 15,000 revs. This is excellent oil. Now I recommend 35 mils per litre for Vortex Mini Rock. Otherwise an alternative is the Motul Grand Prix 2T fully synthetic. Now this is a red oil so you'll be able to see it in your um, fuel container and in your petrol tank. So you guarantee you know you've mixed your petrol. With this stuff, it's got like a red dye in it. Now it's an excellent oil, same things, 35 mils per litre for your Vortex Mini Rock, and this will get you out of trouble. Now for any high revving Dykes ring piston engines, like the X30, 
IAMI, uh, the PID Galaxy 125, even the KA100. Now, these engines work extremely high and the pistons exposed, and the ring, sorry, the piston ring is exposed to a lot of energy because the ring is mounted to the top of the piston, just like this one. So you can see that this piston here has the ring at the very top of the piston crown, and that's called a Dyke's ring piston. And it's an L shape in its cross section. So it goes straight down here and then tucks under the, the ring land there. As opposed to this piston, which has the ring further down from the piston crown, and that's similar in the Rotax, and this is out of a KZ engine. Now these rings don't see as much action from the flame front here in the combustion chamber, and also uh, gliding over the edges of the ports, it's a little bit more guarded by the uh, piston crown here. So the, the ring can be a lot thinner, a lot lighter, and it doesn't get as much sort of heat energy from the, the burning of the combustion process, so it's less likely for this ring to get stuck in the piston with um, carbon deposits. We've talked about carbon deposits before. They build up in the combustion process. This style piston, the Dykes ring, the carbon actually burns as the engine's making power and burning fuel, and it starts to make deposits here on the crown and also down here in the ring land and the ring gap. And what happens is, over the time, the dirtier oils, the castor oils especially, they start to uh, fill up the, the ring here and it'll get stuck. And it normally gets stuck in its tightest position so that when you crank the engine to start it, it's not making any compression because the ring's actually stuck inside the piston. And then you can't get any ring seal, which is no pressure, which no, is no pumping, which is no fuel because the carburetors all run on the um, pressure and vacuum created by the piston going up and down in the engine. So if you're having problems with the ring sticking, change from your castor oils like this Castor Cart 100 back to a Castor 927 which is a very clean burning castor oil. They have some sort of uh, engineering here that has changed the, the structure of the oil so that when it burns, it burns very clean and hardly leaves any carbon deposits on your piston and your cylinder head. It's a really great oil. Failing that, you can go back to the trusty old Motul GP2T, uh, which is a fully synthetic oil and it burns very, very cleanly. So when you're using your castor oils in your IAMI race engines and the PID Galaxy, you want to use a castor oil and you, will, you want to run 50 mils per litre as a bare minimum. Now these engines rev high and the oil's the thing that holds your engine together and stops it from the piston sticking to the cylinder and having a big meltdown. So make sure you don't run lean oil mixtures in those engines, they don't like them that much. So 50 mils per litre, which is 20 to 1 of castor oil in your high revving performance race engines. These are just some of the oils available out there. Uh, these are the ones I stock and recommend here at Power Republic, but uh, feel free to use them if that's something that suits you. Otherwise, get whichever brand you like. But just remember, fully synthetic oils work best in the Rotax engine. Castor oils work better in your IAMI X30, PRD Galaxy, and all the higher revving engines above 14,000 RPMs. So as soon as you go over that 14, 15,000, consider running a castor oil. And for the Vortex Mini Rocks, you could either use your Castor 927 or the Motul. Neither will punish your performance. Both are clean burning and both are excellent. So there you have it. That is a intro to oil fuel ratio mixtures for your go-kart racing engine. Uh, most of the oils are pretty good. You can use any of those and any of those ratios and that'll get you out of trouble. If you come up with something better, please feel free to use it and share it with us here at the YouTube channel. So you can put that down in the comment section below. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing, turning on your notifications, giving us a thumbs up, following us on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic. You can also go to our Patreon page and check that one out if you like. Also too, uh, you can go to our website www.powerpublic.com.au and grab yourself a t-shirt or the new 10 year anniversary hoodie that will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.